Hi guys, welcome, welcome to my first ever YouTube video guys. Thank you guys for being here. Um, this is actually my second YouTube video for those who know. <laughs> I have attempted to do YouTube back in the days and it didn't work out. It was a complete fail. Um, I actually had my video up for... For how long? For a good two weeks and I deleted it, which I'm so glad I did because in the I wasn't ready, I wasn't matured enough, I wasn't in the mental capacity to navigate social media. I just, yeah, so I'm glad I decided to step, take a step back and it took me how many years? Five years to come back. <laughs> that's how long it's been. But here we are guys, and that's all that matters. I'm so happy to be here. Welcome to my channel where we talk everything beauty, fashion, lifestyle, faith, right? For those who have never seen my face, I am Susanna, also known as Ms. Heinrich. Thank you for passing by and I hope that you actually decide to stay with me forever and ever and ever and ever. And ever. I actually decided to turn this my first video into a vlog as well because I just felt as though just dropping a Q&A just seems a little, I don't know, a little boring. I'm actually recording this video way after I already vlogged. So you guys are gonna see the vlog after I am done with the Q&A. I asked a couple, no, before we get into this video guys, Please to make sure that you make the commitment of your life and subscribe to this channel so that you are part of the family and please give this video a thumbs up interact with me in the comment section about what you guys want to see on this channel because this is gonna be one good roller coaster I really did a little Q&A on my Instagram where I threatened some of, some of my friends on Instagram to actually ask me a few questions and they came through so i'm gonna be answering a few of those questions i'm not gonna answer too many questions because like i said guys i feel like throughout with time i feel like with time you guys are gonna get to know me um through my videos so i'm just gonna keep it you know very very i'm just gonna answer like four or five questions and then we're done and then we get into the vlog so yeah, I got a few questions that I'm going to answer. Okay, let me get the questions out of the way that I know people will be curious to know. So, what would that be? I'm Susanna, Ms. Heinrich. I'm Susanna Heinrich, but I, I prefer to be addressed as Ms. Heinrich, guys. <laughs> and then, I am 26 years of age. I am originally born and raised in Ludwig, but I currently reside in Panduk so what else <laughs> okay someone's okay let's just get into those questions guys okay so the first question is age I answered that what did you mean what did you major in I am a registered nurse um, someone said how many siblings do you have? I have one on my mom's side and a couple on my dad's side. I feel like some of those questions are also like very much advice-like questions. So they are not really a get-to-know-me type of question. So I think I'll answer those questions um, in another video. And okay, someone said, what are your top three self-care self -care practices? I love doing my makeup. That's a self-care practice on its own. I love being in the gym. I'm in the gym five times a week, or I try to be in the gym five times a week. Love, love, love working out. And then the third thing is self-care. I think just reading, just reading, just, you know, reading my word, reading devotionals, reading books. It just makes me very happy because there's just something about reading. I feel like I'm really really pouring into myself so love that or just watching a sermon or all of those things guys they just make me so happy i try to install my wig to say myself guys so uh, i am so proud of this girl because i'm not spending money in 2024 guys 2024 is the year where i'm just 
I'm just, I don't know, I'm learning new skills, I'm spending less money, I'm pouring more into myself, I'm standing on my faith business, it's me and God against the world, so... Um, how has your faith journey been so far and how did you manage to stay rooted in faith? Um, my faith journey has been perfectly imperfect. Um, I don't want to put out this narrative that, that my faith journey is just so... It's just the roses all the time because it's not, guys. But I think for me personally, it's been a beautiful journey. Just seeing myself stress less about situations. Just having something to look forward to. Trusting God about any little... Guys, when I tell you guys that any little inconvenience, any little thing, I'm just like, you know what? God, you handle it. So... That has just been so beautiful to experience as a person because I've never had that um, understanding, that peace, that faith before. And just being in a position where I know that I don't have to constantly handle things on my own. Because to be quite honest, one of the things that I've struggled with for so long is feeling alone. Knowing that God's got me, that is, I have personally stayed rooted, is constantly... It's the little things, guys. Making sure that I'm constantly in church. Um, making sure that I'm in Bible study. Um, constantly holding myself accountable for my prayer life. My creating that intimate relationship with God. Because even with now, guys, I needed a boost in my prayer life. I've been slacking. And because I was struggling, I decided to get myself a journal. Which you guys will probably see in the vlog. I was like, you know what? I need to find a plan B because plan A is not working anymore. So what can I do differently? And I was like, you know what? I've never been someone who writes who writes down her prayers. So that's and I did that. And it's just about seeking God with intention. What am I without God? What am I without God? I am absolutely nothing. So yeah. And also just taking your faith journey as not optional but Making it a priority in your life, you know, that also helps. Um, do you wear with a lot of makeup? Nope. Um, this year alone, I probably put makeup on my face like five times, guys. I'm not someone who really likes putting a lot of makeup in, on my face. And that's also because um, there was a time where I couldn't live without makeup because I had this idea that I'm only... I'm only beautiful with makeup so once I started rediscovering me and how beautiful I am with or without it I just yeah I don't feel the need to constantly do it I can see that a lot of these questions are very much faith related and I so I think I'm gonna have also a, a separate video talking about my faith journey how it's been how we got there and all of that someone said I know it's social media, but your life looks peaceful. The Bible tells us that God will give us a peace that surpasses all understanding. My life, not peaceful, very chaotic. Me personally, always at peace. If I have to tell you guys what kind of season I currently am in, it is not an easy season. You know, the season where you are job hunting, the season where you are just... You know, you look at your peers and you feel as though people are just way far ahead compared to where you are in life. It's just a lot, you know, and that is a lot of pressure. I'm just a child. <laughs> I'm just a kid. That is a lot of pressure. But God has been upholding me, guys. So I am peaceful. I am happy. I am blessed. I am praying. And I'm forever grateful, you know. I wake up now and I'm just grateful for everything, you know. I never used to be a grateful person, but now every little thing I am grateful for. Do you consider yourself approachable? Very much so. If you know me, you know I'm one of the kindest, bubbliest people. You can meet someone for the first time and have a conversation with them like I've known them for years. That's how approachable I am. Yes. Let me do a quick reflection of when I started YouTube back then and now. What is the difference? First, I think I'm more mature. I wasn't as mature back then and it wasn't even a thing of mature as in age or anything. It was just like emotional maturity. I was 
uh, I was heartbroken, I was hurting, I was angry with everyone in this life. And trust me guys, if I had stayed on YouTube, anyone would ever talk to me ever again because I would have trained anyone in anything that has ever done me wrong. So that was me. Now I'm healed, you know. Back then, I didn't have God. Now I have God. Imagine, who would have thought? <laughs> God really works with everything and everyone, guys. You know, one is above or below salvation. No one is above or below anything that has to do with God. Anyways, guys, I have rumbled so much. I don't even know when I could edit this video if it's gonna make sense because I just feel like I've been saying so many things at the same time and jumping from one thing to the next. So let's just get into the vloggy vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. Yar. <laughs> hi guys welcome to my youtube <laughs> i am so 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 tired it is currently um march 29th and it is 8 56 right now i was actually supposed to be in church today but i had to wait for my little brother who only arrived around 4 5 a.m so i was so tired guys like ish. i'm even surprised that i woke up this early but it is what it is so welcome to my first vloggy vlog guys before we get into this vlog please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up interact with me in the comment section and just for that extra juice please do turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time i post a new video i'm currently at west lane um i just needed to quickly very fast um sort out something and then i have to go somewhere else to go do something it's gonna be a big 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 surprise but i am probably gonna explain later why i am actually why i decided to make this decision in the first place so yeah i actually woke up in a rush today i didn't even do uh, my morning devotion which is not a good thing guys um i didn't do my morning devotion and yeah it's just not a nice way to kickstart my day but here we are so i just realized that i actually still have a couple of minutes so i just decided let me just come back here and kind of explain what i was talking about earlier so i got um tattoos done i got two tattoos done um two years ago yes i think about two years ago i got two tattoos done which i uh, to be quite honest i kind of regret it because tattoos are such a permanent commitment and i'm not really good with permanent commitment like that but i have learned to just love my tattoos with time and I have a second tattoo on my arm that I just don't kind of like. <clears throat> I don't like how it looks. It's just, um, it's giving prison tattoo, guys. There's nothing wrong with it. I, I just think that the font that I chose um, after it, it, it healed, it just didn't look as nice anymore. So I don't really, really like this tattoo as it really bothers me guys to be quite honest every time i look at my arm i am just it kind of feels like a reminder as to why i shouldn't have done these tattoos in the first place and i don't want to live like that i don't want to constantly look at my arm and feel regret um although i might have it i don't want to just not be happy with looking at my arm so i decided that i'm gonna fix this tattoo or i have this idea that if I am to add something something around this tattoo it will look way better <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense guys but I was just honestly not happy with how my tattoo was looking the other one is perfectly fine and it's just one of them that is just not you know giving what it's supposed to give so yeah so I'll just see you guys when we arrive 
for the tattoo i'm probably gonna go home and change because i'm not really wearing comfortable and then i'm gonna head there to get my tattoo fixed or basically to get a new tattoo next to the old ones so that it looks better so yeah i'm getting basically out of this whole thing the only thing i was supposed to say is i'm getting a new tattoo only been a few hours when it felt like days Only been days but it felt like months Only gone for a year, only go like once Life moves fast when you do what you want so I got home a few minutes ago guys, but I was so tired. I decided to take a little nap Okay, so now I'm up um, I've actually been home for I think two hours. I tried taking a nap. It didn't work out So I was just chilling in bed watching um, The Big Bang Theory. Yes, I'm very much behind um, I'm only I only started watching like a month ago let me just be honest like a month ago and now i love it so much i watch it almost every day so yeah my little brother is here for a day so we are about to head out again um i'm not quite sure where the day is gonna take us um he's only here for one day so i thought maybe we can go out and do something i don't know what it is yet you know so we will probably figure that out along the way so right now we are gonna go to grove mall i need to f just inquire something at mtc and then from there i'm not sure if we will then go to maru mall because we are trying to go bowling today so we are not sure if it's open if it's gonna be fully packed or anything so i'm hoping for the best i hope it's open and i hope it's empty so yeah i will see you guys at Grove more like yes. Bye. Say hi to my YouTube channel. Say hi to my YouTube channel. Say hi to my YouTube channel. What it do? What it do? Big night in the building. Yeah. Say they must subscribe to my channel. Oh yeah, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my sister's channel. You Yay. Me. Bye. Yes. <laughs> so guys, I won. <laughs> I was first place when so you count from the bottom, so I won. Um, we are now getting is this lunch or dinner. <laughs> I guess dinner. <laughs> we are having dinner now. We just came for like a pizza. Um, I'm about to eat pizza and probably not sleep tonight because of my gastritis. Because for the past three months, I haven't been eating any food, any spicy food, nothing. I've literally just been surviving on sweet potatoes, potatoes, and boiled chicken so today i'm about to get some water <laughs> it will probably end in tears but are you texting your girlfriend emphasis on the f <laughs> that's how white my pizza is guys no sauce nothing Toughen up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe, spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind, hold her hand, and don't believe a lie. You understand me? Walk her down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within and call him as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer to take her Guys, 
it is currently 32 minutes past 10 and that means it is time for bed for some of us i'm just gonna get into bed and continue watching young sheldon so i'll end off today's vlog here and then i will see you guys in the morning <laughs> amazing this is how it looks like on the inside love this for me bro so i am super super excited about this purchase my favorite thing i finally have a prayer journal my first ever prayer so i just finished recording the q a and the intro video for my for this vlog that is the first video that you guys are gonna see and i think i'm also just gonna close out this vlog here and i hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog i know it wasn't much i didn't really that is actually the busiest my life has been for the past couple of days my life usually is way more chilled i'm home a lot more so i think i really tried my best i tried to actually do everything all at once so that i don't give you guys a boring vlog so thank you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next video please do not forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up talk to me in the comment section and you can also turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time i post a new video bye guys